All right, so I've seen a bunch of posts from Facebook of other people's uh, DFW Toy Show Hall uh, from last weekend at the Dallas-Fort Worth um, G.I. Joe Show. So I wanted to just quickly kind of run through some of the stuff I did and got. Um, of course, 30 years of collecting, um, I'm getting kind of picky just because of space and so forth. But anyway, we... Uh, my son and I were glad to fly down. Um, we got there about Friday around 11.30, got checked in, decided to go ahead and uh, walk to the convention center and, and get our tickets. And then we decided to go down to the stockyards in Fort Worth. So, well, I didn't really know it, but the John Wayne Museum is there at the stockyard. So, so we decided to step in just to kind of check it out and see what that was about. And uh, of course this is, got myself a, uh, cozy cozy while I was there life's tough but it's tougher if you're stupid so and of course I had to get the uh, shot glass to kind of go with it from the John Wayne Museum and uh, this one is the the hell I won't that way if I have somebody uh, who wants to take a shot with me I got the two John Wayne shot glasses uh, so we had a good time at the stockyards picked up a few other things uh, and then we uh, were back at the show when it opened at six so um, one of the very first things that I got was this uh, Super Joe um, foot locker, which I know I've had in the past and sold it, and consequently I wanted uh, it again. I couldn't really beat the price, and so I picked up another one. Uh, that was my first purchase. Uh, after that, uh, my next purchase was of... Uh, these Captain Action uh, figures. I got the Captain Action Thor, uh, which was for five bucks. So, I mean, for five bucks for that figure, I couldn't really beat it. And then uh, in a bag, he had uh, Dr. Evil, the second version, which uh, really got a different head sculpt, which is just kind of interesting to have another bad guy. Uh, and then the white version of Captain Action, and both of those were 15 bucks, so that was kind of cool. Uh, I knew that I was going to go to the uh, Chicken Fried Toys booth and pick up the new Calvary figures from Dime Novel Legends. So I got those. Those were uh, awesome. It's great to see those figures and get them in. And, of course, we walked to the convention center, So and I forgot my uh, hat, so um, my scalp was a little tender. I was like, well, if I'm walking around uh, Texas with the Texas sun and heat, I should probably pick up another um hat so I picked up another adventure team hat from Ace Allgood and of course uh, that next morning I got up was having breakfast ran into Jim Egner and then uh, uh, Sean Huckster came down and all the three of us were sitting there talking and of course Sean Huckster gave me a couple of uh, samples that he was doing of course he's made these before uh, of course he's got some really awesome stuff you can check out his stuff on Cots Collectibles uh, on Cotsworld's uh, page and, and this is a neat little razor laser gun that he had designed as well so so those are courtesy of uh, Sean Huckster uh, and I was of course happy to be on the panel uh, with him and Jim Edgar um, I don't remember if it was Friday night I think it was Friday night I was talking to uh, or Saturday during the day uh, Steve Carlton had uh, shown and picked up some Osprey uh, manuals and told me I, about these uh, one of the dealers that was selling these for five bucks each um, of course these are great reference uh, materials for modeling um, so I went back and and uh, picked these up too kind of rifled through all of them he had a whole bunch more that uh, I would have liked to have gotten but these were the main ones um, great reference material for for me to use uh, in my modeling uh, techniques and just to get ideas of uh, things to make for be active toys when we're uh, 3d printing stuff so so that's pretty cool and of course uh, at the end of the day on Sunday as they were closing down I just happened I didn't catch it until the very end but there's a guy selling a bunch of GI Joe books so you know as a teacher it's my summer reading time so I was able to uh, pick up a whole bunch of uh, back issues of GI Joe uh, which was really really great and my uh, son picked up a whole bunch of transformers uh, comics all uh, from the idw air um, when they were producing them so so that's going to be some summer reading on my part to get caught up in gi joe uh, um, 
comic book reading over the summer. So anyway, that is my haul from the 2024 uh, G.I. Joe, uh, Dallas Fort Worth G.I. Joe show. Um, it was a great time. Certainly encourage you guys, if you've never been to any of the uh, collector's conventions or any of the toy shows, get out there and go meet all of us that are on the Facebook pages uh, and just have a good time overall.